Donald Trump, of all people, could bring Republicans, Republicans who support him and Democrats together as one, if, if not in unison, then at least in harmony. I would not have believed you that he would be the man to do that. But here we are tonight. In a very special and specific way, Donald Trump tonight has brought America together across partisan lines. Donald Trump says Republicans will not be voting in the elections in 22 or 20, uh, 24. Turns out Democrats are good with that. Republicans, what, you're gonna tell Trump he's wrong? Donald Trump is easily one of the dumbest men in history, at least who's held any type of powerful office. I mean, this dude still will not give it up. So much to the point where he says, if y'all don't find some type of way to reinstate me, to rewind time and show that, in fact, I won the election, which, of course, we have conclusive evidence for, people are just being unfair to Donald. You know, if y'all don't find a way to do that, then Republicans just aren't going to show to the polls. You know, all those terrible socialist policies that we're always whining about, expanding health care, making education better, increasing wages, you know, things like that. You know, we're just going to let Democrats steamroll us and we just won't show up to the polls because me, 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 me. And that's all this is about. And as I often talk about, the Republican Party really, really has to find somebody else because this clown and this idiot, this is all he can do. Which I think is really important to point out that you know that the major Republican figures like Lindsey Graham, Mitch McConnell, you know that they hate Donald Trump, even though they're so desperately clung to his boot and to his backside. And as Lindsey Graham did say and point out his famous legendary tweet that if we allow Trump to take control of the party, we're going to get steamrolled and it'll be our fault. But he wasn't just talking about the near future. He was talking about the legacy of the Republican Party. Because if they find themselves so desperately glued to the backside of Donald Trump, I know they're waiting for something to come, maybe from this New York case into the Trump organization and all the tax fraud. Please, please, God, let something come so we can get this clown and this buffoon out of our way so that maybe we can reinstate the GOP to some type of former glory, maybe back to the Reagan days. But the truth is, is that the Republican Party cannot go backwards. And I don't know exactly what's going to happen. And I don't think anyone else does either. But hey, if Republicans don't want to show up to the polls in 22 or 24, that is certainly fine by me. And like Rachel Maddow asked, hey, Republicans, are you going to say that Trump's wrong here? Are you going to say, no, 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 maybe you all should show it to the polls in 22 and 24 because, you know, the viability and sustainability of the Republican Party kind of depends on it. Every party depends on people showing up to the polls. But Trump and a big portion of the voting base of the Republican Party is so focused on Donald Trump that, hey, maybe we won't show it to the polls if something that'll never happen doesn't happen which we all know Donald Trump lost the 2020 election by over 7 million votes. There's no argument here. Now, but the important thing here is that this is the difference between where the Republican voting base is and where progressives and just independents and people who are more in the category of wanting to see the country become a better place are. Republican base is totally focused on Donald Trump more so than not, while everybody else is focused on policy. Everybody else is focused on the everyday needs being met so that not only can we compete with the rest of the nation, but we don't have to worry about our bills being paid in a country that's the wealthiest in history. So I thought that this was really, really funny. But hey, like I said, Republicans, if you don't want to show up to the polls in 22 and 24, then have at it.